So in this video, we're going to be going over graphing in standard form. So here's a scenario. You earned 100 points on a test. Some of the questions were worth two points. Other questions were five points. So the information we have on this is we have a total and we have a rate here and we have a rate here. So we have rate, rate, total. Whenever you have information similar to that, you're going to be using standard form. So that's the AX plus BY equals C form for equations, not slope intercept form or point slope form. This is a standard form information here. So here we go. We're just going to jump right into it. So the rate from the first one, that's two points per two point question. Plus we're going to add to that five points for each five point question for a total of 100 points. So there we go. So there is an equation for this information here. And again, we identified we have a rate rate total. Therefore, we're using this form. And then from there, it's super simple. Two points per two point question plus five points for a five point question equals $100. And you can use X's instead of T's and Y's instead of F's if you want as well. So these are also called linear combinations. Just a quick side note there. Now, when we have standard form, we are, the strategy for graphing is going to be graphed by the X and the Y intercept. So each form has kind of a different strategy we use for graphing. So here's the graph here, and we are going to break down how to do this, but quick preview to find the X intercept. So this number right here, the, the 50, we're going to go divide by two. So 100 divided by two, boom, goes there. And then for the, the Y axis or the F axis, we're going to go 100 divided by five, boom, makes 20. And there it is there. So we'll break this down a little bit more in the video as we go. So quick review, make sure this is in the formula section of your notebook. Uh, this is standard form AX plus BY equals C. The value for A is kind of the rate of the first variable. In the last example, it was two point questions. The rate of the second variable, the five point questions from the, the last page, and then your total goes after the equal sign there. So quick review. If you have information in a story problem or situation and it has a rate and a start amount, then you're gonna use slope intercept form. If you have rate and or slope and some other information, but it's not the start amount or the Y intercept, that's gonna be point slope form. Now, if you have the information rate, rate and a total, that's when, you, when you're gonna use standard form. Now, for each of these, the strategy for graphing is going to be a little bit different. So if you already know you're in slope intercept form, then you're going to start at the Y intercept, the value for B, then you're going to apply the slope. So you go rise over run up, however many, and then right or over, uh, depending on if you're going forwards or backwards. Now, if you have point slope form, you're going to start at this point here, the X1, Y1 point, and then you're going to apply the slope, rise over run, go up and over. And then if you have standard form, this is a new strategy, you're going to graph by intercepts. Now, that's what this video is about. So you're not expected to already know that quite yet. So but here we go. In order to know which strategy you're going to use, you do have to be able to identify each form. So slope intercept form, that's where you have a Y equals point slope form, same thing. They both have Y equals, and then you're going to have a number times an X and then just plus a number. So that means you're in slope intercept form. You have to be able to identify the form. So point slope form, you still have the Y equals, then you have a number here, and then you have X plus or minus another number in parentheses and then plus another number there. That's how you know you're using point slope form. Now for standard form, you have the X and the Y, then you have the equal sign and then a number. So that's how you identify that you are in standard form. Then after you've identified which form, then you know which strategy for graphing you're going to use. Now, a way of graphing equations in standard form is to change them into slope intercept form. It is slower than the way we're going to go on the video, but it is sometimes useful. So here we go. To go from standard form to slope intercept form, we need to solve for y, get y by itself. Okay. So we don't want the 2x over here on the left side of the equal sign or the 
negative 6. So here we go. We're going to undo that 2x with a minus 2x to both sides. So we have no more x's on the left, just a negative 6y and then equals. Now notice these are not like terms. This is a constant term. This is a x term. So you can't actually add or subtract the 12 and the 2. So you just rewrite it as negative 2x minus 12. Now to undo the y is being multiplied by negative 6. So to undo multiply by negative 6, we're going to divide negative 6 to both sides. So on the left side, we have negative 6 over negative 6. That's just 1y. There you go, 1y. And then both of these terms need to be divided by negative 6, the negative 2x and the negative 12. So here we go. Negative divided by negative, that's going to be a positive. And then 2 over 6 reduces to 1 third. We still have the x. And now we have a negative 12 divided by a negative 6. Negative over negative is positive. And then 12 over 6 or 12 divided by 6 makes 2. So there we go. Now it's in slope intercept form when we graph slope intercept form start at the y intercept which is a two boom right there now we apply the slope that's going to be an up one over three there's our second point and there's our line so for graphing equations in standard form the most efficient strategy is graph by intercepts we're going to find the x-intercept and we're going to find the y-intercept so start with the x-intercept now here's your x-axis here and we're looking for where the line crosses the x-axis so notice up here this is where y equals one here's y equals negative one so right on the x-axis the y equals zero so we're going to take our equation 4x minus 6y equals negative 12 and we're going to rewrite that but we're going to replace the y with the value that we're looking for in this case zero okay so now for solving we're going to start by simplifying so over here we can do negative six times zero what does that make well that just makes zero so it basically kind of goes away right four x plus zero is just four x and then we still have the equals 12. now keep solving right so here we go to undo the four being multiplied by the x we're going to divide both sides by four right so here we have four divided by four that's just x, 1x, or just x equals negative 12 divided by positive 4. Negative divided by positive is negative. 12 divided by 4 makes negative 3. So there's our x-intercept. It's going to be a negative 3. Now for finding the y-intercept, right? So here's our y-axis here, and the x value is going to be 0. Over here, x is 1, x is negative 1. On the y-axis, the x is 0. So rewriting the equation, but instead of an x, we're looking for a 0. So now we can simplify. 4 times 0 is just 0. So 0 minus 6y is just negative 6y. So keep solving, right? we got to undo this being multiplied by negative 6 to the y. So divide by negative 6 to both sides. So that's just going to make 1y or just y equals negative divided by negative is positive. 12 divided by 6 makes 2. And there's our intercepts there. We found the x-intercept, negative 3. The y-intercept is a 2. So now when we go for graphing, x-intercept, negative 3, boom, right there. Y-intercept is going to be a 2, uh, right there. So there's our two points that we can use, draw the line through it, and boom, you're done. So after you get good at this, go super fast. So go ahead and have you try this one on your own. Pause the video, then come on back and see how you did. So here we go. We have the x-intercept. We'll find that one first. We're going to put 0 in for y. So we have 4 times 0. Well, that's just 0. So we're just left with negative 3x equals 12. So how do we solve that? Well, we need to undo the multiply by negative 3, divide by negative 3. So we're going to take the 12, divide it by negative 3. That's going to make a negative 4. There's our x-intercept. Now for the y-intercept, we're going to do the same basic idea. Idea 0 goes in for x. Negative 3 times 0 is just 0. Plus 4y just makes 4y. So we kind of ignore the x part of it. And now divide by 4, divide by 4. So 12 divided by 4 is basically the only arithmetic we're doing. And that's going to make a 3. Now we're ready to graph. Here we go. We have a negative 4 for the x-intercept. x-axis there. Negative 4 is right there. y-intercept is a 3. Looking there. Boom. It's right there. Now we can draw our line. There we go. Quick and easy. So now just follow along with this example. I want to give you an idea of how fast this actually takes. So here we go. We want to find the x-intercept first. So we're going to divide by 6. So we're going to take 18 divided by 6, and that makes 3. Now, and boom, there it is there. Now we'll find the y-intercept. So ignore that x part. 
and we're going to divide by negative 9 with the number in front of the y. So 18 divided by negative 9 is going to be a negative 2. Boom, there's your second number. Now draw the line and you're done graphing. This method is not meant to take that much time. Now there is one exception to using the graph by intercepts process or strategy is when it equals zero because basically on here your x and y intercepts are both going to be zero right zero divided by nine zero divided by six zero and zero doesn't give us enough information to actually make a graph we need two different points so for this one here you are going to need to solve for y to put it into slope intercept form so you can actually graph it so this is the one exception so here we go so we're going to solve for y so that means we need to undo the 6x on the left side and subtract 6x to both sides. Boom, done right there. And if you need a slower version of this, back up on the video and you can see that there. Now we're going to divide negative 9 to both sides. So negative 9 over negative 9 makes 1y. Negative 6 over negative 9. Negative over negative would be a positive. 6 over 9 reduces to 2 thirds. So here we go. So this is in slope intercept form. We don't really need to write the plus 0, but that is going to be the y intercept, which we already knew from uh, up here. And so here we go. We're going to start at zero and then apply the slope. That's going to be an up two and right three. There's our second point and draw the line. So here's our three linear forms. We have slope intercept form, point slope form, and standard form. So these three forms, uh, these three equations here all show this line here. So right, slope intercept form, y equals, there's your slope, x plus, there's your y intercept there. So for graphing these, start at six, boom right there, then go down through, down two over three, down two over three, boom right there. For point slope form, here we will start at the point three, four, shown here, and then apply the slope down two over three, same as what we did there. Now for standard form, for graphing those, we're gonna graph by intercepts. So we're going to do for the x-intercept, divide by 2. 18 divided by 2 makes 9. Boom, right there. And then for the y-intercept, divide by 3. 18 divided by 3 makes 6. Boom, right there. So that's the strategy for all three points there. And you can go back and forth between the graphs and the forms of the equations there. So remember, whenever we're doing the slope standard form, graphing we're going to graph by intercepts right find that x intercept and we're just thinking divide by six makes three and then for the y intercept we're thinking divide by negative nine the number in front of the y so for the x intercept divide by the number in front of the x divide by six for the y intercept divide by the number in front of the y so 18 divided by negative nine makes a negative two there's your two points draw the line and you move on to the next question